Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take this moment to remind you just before I start the review that if you're tuning in before the end of 2018, I do have a Save the Ocean promotion, and I would really like it if you get there and uh, show that video some love because we're trying to paying for so much trash to be removed from the ocean for every so many subscribers I get. So if, if, you're, if you're tuning in before the end of 2018, I'd appreciate it if you, after watching this, took the time to go see this video and, you know, show that thing some love, show your support for the ocean, because, let's face it, that ocean is big and it affects all of us, and I, I'd really like there still to be things like penguins and polar bears when, when I'm old and gray, which isn't too far from now. In any case, one of the, the films that is coming out on Blu-ray, I know, for Halloween, I saw it at the Cheap House myself, it is The First Purge. Yes, and The First Purge is that the uh, rise of Donald Trump has led to a Trumpian government where they are going to go around killing poor people as an experiment on Staten Island. And hilarity ensues. No, yes, there are a lot. Staten Island, if you don't know, is the only one of the boroughs of uh, New York that that fell to Trump. That that was, you know, very strongly uh, full of Trump supporters. And uh, Pete Davidson, who is from that area, says that it's the herpes of boroughs. So there was that. There's there's other references to Donald Trump in the movie though it's illusions, not direct. And I mean, here is the thing about this film. It is not, by nature, a bad movie. It is somewhat similar to a, a zombie movie where you've got hordes and hordes, but the hordes and hordes are, you know, um, people, and they're motivated through something other than eating brains. And I mean, one of the things about this movie that's difficult to swallow is the fact that the good guys are kind of drug dealers. And the movie is a little predictable in that regard, just how, how the drug dealers behave. And then, you know, the other thing is that why would the rich people want there to be less poor people? The more poor people, the more they can exploit them. Now, if this movie went the other direction, like the... Uh, the poor people were being hunted by rich people. They were poor person safaris where rich people went out there and paid so much money to kill poor people. I, I would see that a little bit more. But, you know, again, the Purge franchise has always been an underutilized concept. And this particular film is no different. It is not a good film. It is not a bad film. It is mind-numbing entertainment that they have tried to inject some relevance into. And, you know, again, if you you need something that is an action-y sort of a thing for your, for your viewing pleasure on Halloween, not a bad film to have playing in the background. Not a great film either. You know, just one of those things. Very middle ground. Anyway... So, here we are at the end of the video. I'm going to once again remind you that I have my Save the Ocean promotion, and I would very much like it if you would go down there. If you have already, you can still go down there again and leave a new comment and promote that video and help me save the ocean. So, there is that. And, and uh, if you are going to do that today, you've already left a comment, I think... To show that you got the end of this video, the comment you should leave today would be Orange Purge. Two words, Orange Purge. That's, that's what we're going for. You may, of course, always comment on this video, give it a like, and perhaps subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Richard Leland Neal.